The plans for Sophie's alfresco area are just perfect for her and Belle and their kids and their friends. I cannot wait to see it come to life. The pavilion, the pool, the deck. They're going to be on a holiday for the rest of their lives. This beautiful plot of land that Sos House sits on absolutely lends itself to gorgeous outdoor spaces. So the pavilion's about 20 metres away from the main house, so it will be its own self-contained entertaining space. And of course, the pool's going to be right next to it. Good size pool, so. Yeah, preempting the children and all our friends are having babies and stuff now, so this is to have all our friends over. This is the kind of the drinking step for the parents. Yeah, we've all got one of them. Yeah. yeah. Actually, this oh, is this gorgeous. Is, oh, oh my God, yeah. I'm here already. So it'll be all just rendered white and then shower down the end. And then it'll be hardy deck in front. So the hardy deck will just butt up to the coping oh. all the way around. Hardy deck right up to here? Yeah. Can I ask what interior colour are you going for? What pool colour? White. So the water will be very like light blue. Oh. And can I just check so? Because yeah. I tell I again say oh, this to here everybody. We go. Have you eyeballed the exact colour yes. that you've chosen? Yes. You've seen a real pool? Yes. Okay, are you happy with that? Yes, and we okay. got all the flex <laughs> taken out. <laughs> yes. Flex taken out, it is like the flattest white they can do, so okay. it's like my okay. dream. Yeah. It's just very important to eyeball the pool, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, and I told Bonnie that, and what do you think she took my advice back? No. No, she didn't. So it actually really annoys me that she's very happy with the results. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is about eating and lounging. Yeah. Entertainment. Yeah. Big day bed here. Yep, big yep. day bed bench there. Bench seat here. Bench yep. seat here. Yep. Um, this section here is like <laughs> barbecue, bar, yes. maybe pizza oven. So I'll be sitting by here cooking, or Belle will. Yes. And I'll be making the drinks, and you yes. guys will be sitting there. Oh, Bustle. yes, that's it. So I've almost finished my Renner School Vision Board for the outdoor spaces. We've yeah, got great. the pool area, the pavilion, great. but we're still kind of fine tuning a little bit, so I kind of need your help with it. Well, what I wanted to ask you about was that whole world of heating. Mm. You know, has it, you guys are going to entertain outside mm. over the winter months, so I did a little bit of research on some heating options. On realestate.com.au, they yeah. had this great article. They list a whole heap of different options there. Yeah. And I think a really good option out there is going to be the fire pit. I think your property just calls for it. There's that space where it would just sit perfectly on the grass area. Yeah, love it. Belle will um, love that as well. And then they also listed over here as well a pizza oven. So I know yes. you guys have spoken about it. I hadn't really thought of it as a heating option. To me, it's more like, you know, it's a cooking, cooking. space. But the heat generated from it is huge. So, so fire pit and the pizza oven. I think they're two really great options to heat that space. So Sophie's little baby girl is due any day now. We're so excited. I came up here last week and Sophie was standing at the front of her house and I nearly died because she didn't even look pregnant. She has handled this renovation pregnancy like it didn't even exist. Sophie's been pregnant for most of the build. She's pretty amazing at how she tackles these things. We're just waiting for the phone call that it's underway. So Sophie's hardy deck is going down and anyone who's been following Three Birds for a while knows how much we love a hardy deck. And that's because they're just so durable. It won't rot, warp, splinter, fade, and that's because it's made of fibre cement, not timber. Some, some of your workers are asleep. Yeah. And it's the mid-afternoon. Actually, it's not even afternoon. Well, everyone th says this is a Mexican drug house, so we've enforced a little siesta time. Right, and he's even got a pillow. Yes, a very comfortable one from James Hardy out of Axon. It's so versatile, that product, I, I tell you. <laughs> it can do anything. It can. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. My god! Today is such an exciting day for us because Sophie is literally having her baby. Oh my god, it's so exciting. We're here pulling things together. When you're doing built-in bench seats like this one here, it's really crucial that you decide beforehand whether or not you're going to have a flat surface at this height or whether or not you're going to get a built-in cushion on top because you want to make sure that your butt is at the right height. So the pavilion 
We've actually used James Hardy Axon again, same stuff that we've used in the ceilings inside. What I wanted to do was bring that detailing from the ceiling outside so that they just connect the two spaces. Such amazing, exciting news. We've had our beautiful darling Pepper. She has arrived, Pepper Valentine. We are just absolutely besotted with her. I've got goosebumps just even talking about her because we're so in love. Oh my God! Hi, Lana! Look at this little bundle! Peppa! So I'm the lucky one of the three birds to be the first to eyeball Sophie's gorgeous little baby, Peppa. I'm so lucky. She is so tiny. She's like this. And she's so cuddly. And it's just so lovely that Sophie has had the bubba and is soon to have the house too. So what a wonderful time for her and Michael and Hendrix. The pavilion's been built. Isn't it amazing? Oh my God, it's like a massive cubby house. I know, we're gonna live out here pretty much most of the year. So this is gonna be a little dining space here. Kitchen set up over this side. This will be a little bar area. Yeah. Pizza oven. I love the Hardy Deck coming inside. We've never really brought the Hardy Deck into a full on like sort of little house. I just love how it flows from the pool into here. It just feels like one big outdoor space. It does. It all connects it all. It's just a stone's throw to the pool. Oh, it's so important to have a pool. If you've got the space, I think in Australia, you've got to have a pool. Even just to look at, it makes you feel beautiful. It makes you feel relaxed. So I think as the kids get older, they can be just having the time of their lives over here while we're all cooking and drinking and having fun. My kids are already desperately saying, when are we going up to Sophie's really? house? Really? Yeah. Oh no, totally. Sophie's house definitely feels like an entertainer's house to me. You'll really get that feeling of indoor-outdoor. Kitchen, lunch, dining in one space, straight out to outdoor entertaining, onto a pool, onto another entertaining pavilion. What is this? That's, this is that's like one. the island. This is the workspace. Yeah. Big pizza oven, sink, sinks, sorry, yeah. taps. Fridge. And fridge here. I'm just hunkered over this view. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Like, honestly, sorry, is this being <gasps> tiled? Yes. What type of tiles? They're a mixture of what we have done inside, we're bringing outside in regards to the peachy, nudie, oh, pinky gorgeous. ones. Yeah. And then have a go at the day bed. Yeah, I know. I think it's I think it's the day bed to beat all day beds. It is. Yeah. So the angle, so you yeah. can put your towel, kick yeah. back, have a bevy. Yeah. It's got everything. It's got it's it's very practical. It's got all the space you need for entertaining. They will live out here. Now we just gotta get it finished in three weeks. Easy. Ez? Easy. Yeah, okay, let's get to work. It's all happening outside now. The rendered wall in the pool area has been done. The fence is up, the water's gone into the pool. I can really see the space coming to life now. It's just going to look amazing. The little art piece within the pool area is finally in and it's our Reese outdoor shower. It's gorgeous, I've got one at home. The kids use it all the time. They're so practical, but they look so bloody beautiful. So we're up in the pavilion and as you can see, it's painting time. Now, painting it white, we've got that connection with the house and the rainforest at the back is absolutely popping. So with the pavilion, you can see that we've used the axon here and we've kind of got that mixed materials happening because we wanted that curve of that render and that kind of organic feeling. So we've rendered this section here and the boys are painting that in a different paint. Dulux Aqua Shield for the render and that's the same as the house. When this build is complete, I'm just gonna be over the moon because I just wanna get here for a party. I feel like when you walk up those stairs, you're walking up to your day club that's in Bali, 
or somewhere. Yeah. Don't you think it feels it like a day club? It's got, you know, the HK mm. Living hanging chair that you can spin yeah. and talk to people. It's got that massive, big, beautiful table. The day bed. The massive day bed. The big island. Like the pavilion has everything you need in an oh. entertaining space. And what about the pizza oven? Yeah. For Belle, well, he's, he's going to be throwing in pizzas. Oven. Those you tall do. trees and the vines behind the pavilion. Yeah. It's just divine. And the they want to have entertaining areas yeah. away from the main house. And it's far enough yeah. away that you need your own kitchen there. You need your own yeah. facilities. You do. And you know what I, I love in regards to the pool design, you know, connecting it to the pavilion is that wall that's been built yeah, yeah the big rendered wall so just the, the end big rendered the wall with that gorgeous outdoor mm. shower from Reese. Yeah. and the pool she went with just sort of concrete mm. coping no mm. tiling coping over the edge and then just surround the whole thing mm. with a mega hardy deck yeah do you know what i think the contradiction here is mm. is that her whole house has this softness and this curve to it and then we've designed this pavilion that is as square as can mm. be but it looks sure. so good because as well just of that added curve at the back you can mm. do square and you can do curve together and i think the pavilion is a perfect example of that. You know what I love when you look at the pavilion as well? You look up and you see all white, mm. all green, and then you just see that pop of colour from Tile Cloud. That's nice. very gutsy. I find that one of the most gutsy tile combinations we've ever done. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. And a pavilion should be fun, fun because it's a Bali Day Club. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to know when we're all having a party in oh. the pavilion. Sophie needs an amazing inspirational workspace. Oh, the office, my gosh. I might come work for you. <laughs> Things are moving pretty quickly with build now. The front of this home is going to be so unique. The finishes and the looks, just amazing. To see it actually finish, it far exceeded our expectations. We can't actually believe that we get to live here. They've just got the house of their dreams.